Welcome back to Chaos Collectibles. So I ended up getting this yesterday, um, but I did not have the time to come down here and open it. So today I got a quick couple minutes, so we're just going to go ahead and get after this bad boy um, before I go back to work again. So we have the Fire and Ice 112th scale action figure Dark Wolf Frazetta. Look at the box art. After getting this thing, it's like, dang, you know, I take this thing out of the out of the box that came in. It's like, do I really want to open this thing? Because the artwork is fantastic. And if anybody doesn't know what Fire and Ice is, it is a 1980s cartoon movie by Frank Frazetta. But look at that. That artwork is fantastic. Just like the Frazetta painting, Fire and Ice on the side. We have a picture of the figure in the back and it talks a little bit about it. And it shows everything that comes with this bad boy, as well as a picture of the Dark Wolf on the side. So there we have it. But I'm a man of my word. I told you guys I was gonna open this bad boy. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm just gonna keep the box, okay? This thing was sold out. Frazetta Girls was selling this. Sold out. So I ended up having to pay a little extra for it. By going to BBTS. And, uh, oh wow. This bad boy even opens up into a window. I didn't see an entire um, review on this. I just wanted to see how it would compare next to a Mezco. And look at that. A picture of the figure. You get the uh, the window right there be able to display it so there we have it very cool stuff very cool and this thing does look awesome i mean it really does it's pretty impressive looking through that window box right there and uh you know the way this is right here i mean i might as well open it anyway it looks like it's already been hasn't been taped down very good so i'm just going to open this up And it's always with these tight flaps that they have. I always have a hard time with opening stuff like this because I end up ripping it. Just like with those slime drone boxes because you have the flaps on the sides that catch because of the way that they do these. There we go. Not too bad, just a little, little bit right there. Um, so yeah, pretty excited to pick this guy up because I foresee this figure, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before, but I foresee this as being um, an expensive figure down the road. eBay, people on eBay are already charging almost double retail for it. You know, and by retail, I don't mean Big Bad Toy Store's price. I mean the original for Zeta Girl's price. So on eBay, I mean, you're probably looking at 150 bucks to get one of these. And that's now. It's probably only going to get worse in time. So... Got this thing taped down on top and bottom. So, try to get this out without doing too much damage. All right. So, I mean, this is pretty impressive. It's got a lot of little arrows in here. A lot of little stuff that can get lost. But let's take a look at the man himself, the Dark Wolf. Very cool figure. I mean, the details on this are awesome. You know, musculature looks great. Um, looks like he's very articulated. I believe it's 32 points of articulation. Head sculpt looks good. You know, all that stuff. Yeah, looks awesome. Like it. Looks like the necklace is a little off to the side, so that could be... That could be adjusted a little bit. I wonder if I'm able to adjust that. I'll have to mess with this later. But yeah, very, very cool figure. Um, one flaw that I do notice, and I don't know if it's like this with all of them, but mine, you can see the joint and how it's not painted on one leg. Maybe I can heat that up and, and push that up in there more. Where the other one, 
it's nice and clean that foot's pushed up in there all the way so maybe i can heat that up and try to push that joint up in there or maybe the boot needs to come down i'm not sure i'll have to look at other reviews and see what other people have said about that but you can clearly see it clearly see it and for as much as this figure costs i mean it's pretty disappointing i will say that you know when you, you pay top dollar for an action figure you know um but i mean other than that i mean it's 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 awesome you know even then i mean i could pose them to where it's not so noticeable in the front i mean it will be in the back but pretty pretty awesome so this guy looks like he's got a ball jointed head arms go to the side all around no bicep swivel um no swivel at the elbow either and his elbow looks like it's really tight so i'm gonna have to heat that up and try to move it and of course you have a fully articulated wrist as well swivel at the the hip on each leg and knee only bends again this guy is super tight so I don't want to bust it. And then you got the ankle that goes back and forth. And that's pretty much about it. Um, he also has these different um, pieces that you can pop in. I'm going to have to look and see how these come out. Do I just pull it? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that comes out. See how much of a pain this is to put in there. You gotta have some small fingers to be able to pop this in there. I don't know if the head's supposed to come off first before you do this, or probably doesn't say anything on the box. Does not. I'm gonna see if I can push this up from the bottom. But big fan of Frazetta's work. I am, definitely. Okay, there we go. It took a little bit, but I got that in there. So that's that's the mouth that I like. Half angry. And then, of course, I'm not going to put this one in because I don't want to have you guys sit here forever while I do this. But there's a screaming one, too. There's a screaming mouth as well. Um, he comes with a bow. It's got a real string on it. A ball with a real string. There is, looks like three flipping arrows, and these arrows are super, super tiny, super, super fragile. You can, you can tell. But that is one arrow there. There's three of these bad boys. Put that back in there. And then, of course, he has some grabbing hands. And he's got there's the grabbing hands and then he's got a set of fists as well so he comes with one two three owners oh, also this is pretty cool so he can draw the arrow right draw back the arrow string with that hand there and i don't know if i showed it or not but he does come with an axe as well if I can get this bad boy out of here. There is the axe. Very cool. Looks pretty weathered. Nice details in it. So I'd say the details in his weapons and stuff are pretty comparable to the Mezco. Um, so here is where we are going to... Um, do the comparison and this is where I shouldn't say I'm disappointed but when you say one sixth figure okay this is a one sixth figure is this a one sixth figure I mean look at the height difference between the two I mean he might display with them but I mean if that's the case this dude's seven feet tall I don't know if the Jaguar or the Jaguar, um, the Dark Wolf is supposed to be seven feet tall. But if he was a one sixth figure, seven inches times 12, one twelfth figure, that's 
84 inches, that's seven feet. So I'm not sure if he's really that tall. And I was really hoping to display these two together. I mean, they don't look terrible together. I mean, it still might work. But I mean, this dude is just a giant. And I really got to fix that, that necklace there. Not liking that. But yeah, I mean, when you do a comparison as far as side to side, I will say um, I like the articulation better on the Mezco. You have a lot more. Where this guy, I mean, if you look at the knees, he's got that protruding. I can't bend the knees because the joints are so tight. But he's going to have that protruding piece of plastic right there. Same thing with the elbows, protruding piece of plastic. Or with the Mezcos, they rotate, you know. I guess the joints are a little more hidden if you keep them straight-armed here. But more swivels and, and articulation with this guy. But either way, I mean, it is a cool figure. So I'm not taking anything away from this. It is very cool. And, you know, if it was made by Mesco, <laughs> this thing wouldn't come out for another three, four, five years as slow as those guys are. So I'm just saying, you know, for being a big company, Mesco is extremely slow. You know, you have figures like this and um, the other one I have up there, the Death Dealer, those things took like two years to, to come out after the pre-order. So Mesco is pretty slow for being a bigger company, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So this is the Dark Wolf figure for Zeta. Very cool sculpt, very cool figure. I do, I like it a lot. I'm glad I got it. I don't regret it. Pretty awesome. So I'm excited to have that in my collection. So chances are I may just put this guy in the background of Death Dealer and um, Conan. Just to have my little Frazetta set up in there. One six figures. So going to see what I can do about this joint here. Like I said, I don't know if everybody's figures were like that or if it's just mine. So we're going to see how that goes. So since I have another minute here before I got to leave, I just got a notification today as I was out on the road that um, my Grail Zolo World figure is shipping today. So I just got a notification about that. So I'm really excited about it. I don't think it's going to be here by the weekend. Next week, I'm super busy. I don't know if I'm going to have any time to do any videos because I'm going to be on the road so much. Um, so hopefully at the latest next weekend, hopefully before, but by next weekend, I should be able to do a video on that. But that is all I have for you today. Um, yeah, thanks again for tuning in, everybody. I hope you all have an awesome day. Until next time. Woo!